Hi, I'm Chase thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com. We're a Utah-based company with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips about using the iPad, and I know you're going to love them. So now I'd like to talk to you about reading your web mail using the iPad. So there are actually two ways of doing this. The one that I recommend is to use the built-in mail application, and basically what that will do is it will sign you into your email account for you and it can check on your messages while you're doing other things you can see I actually have two accounts I have my personal iCloud account and my work simply Mac account that I'm managing within here and I can actually see all my messages in a quick inbox format this is a very handy thing but if for any reason you don't have this set up um, or if you don't have the settings for your email account maybe if it's a work email what you can do is you can come here to Safari and you can just access your webmail through the web browser. So what I've done is I've typed in the web browser name, webmail at simplymac.com, that's us, and I can just go ahead and log in. Now, as soon as this pulls up, oh, I'll wait. So you can see it's now pulled up and I have access to all of my emails the same way that I would have access if I were inside the mail application. But again, if you have multiple email accounts, having to go to multiple websites might be a little bit tedious. Whereas if I set them up here in mail, it's all managed for me. If you have any questions about setting up multiple email accounts, let me show you here real quick. So here in settings, we're gonna tap mail contacts and calendars. We're gonna tap add account. And it gives you a predefined list of uh, email accounts that you can use. Now, if you don't have one of these, maybe you are a Comcast subscriber and you'd like your Comcast email, you just tap Other. You want to add a mail account because that's what we're trying to manage. And then you would begin to type in this information, name, first name and last name, email address, password, and a description. I generally would just put whoever's providing your email, so in this case, Comcast. The iPad is very smart, even though uh, your email may not have been one of the predefined choices, it can still search out and find your email settings for you and most of the time it does a great job and now you can manage multiple email accounts within the mail app just like I do. Again, I'm Chase Thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com and we've just talked to you about reading your web mail on the iPad.